All right, ladies and gentlemen, you just saw the view we get during the day from our 22nd floor condo here in downtown Atlanta. That is where we landed. We have officially made it to Georgia. We are officially settled in. I adulted. We got laundry done. We got grocery shopping done. We cleaned up the condo, got everything unpacked and settled in. And the big focus of today's video was testing out my gotcha here in the new place. And I gotta say, just off the rip, it's been absolutely amazing. And oh, hey, I just got my first carnivine since we've been here. I didn't know that could spawn up here. No, I got it from an egg. That's kind of cool. Anyways, we're not worried about that right now. Um, first, the giveaway. I know that we were supposed to do the announcement for it in six days. I don't know if we're gonna be prepared that soon because of a couple of complications, but do not worry, we are still doing the giveaway. With that being said, if you don't know about the giveaway, if you're new here, you haven't checked it out yet, make sure to check out the link in the description below. And also, if you haven't already, smash that like button for me and subscribe and click on that notification bell because YouTube has sucked lately, and the more you guys do that, the more it helps me, the more we can grow together. But we've got so much to go over, and the first little bit of news, since it just came out, we're gonna go over Niantic actually listening to us for once. Mega Energy Adjustments announcement September 3rd, 2020. New changes now active receiving feedback. The Mega Energy requirement to Mega Evolve a Pokemon that has already been evolved has been decreased. They have increased the amount of energy you get from raids. Um, we completed one earlier, and where we would have typically gotten 40, we got 80. That is a big difference. That is a double difference, and that already makes me happier. Um, the coming adjustments that they're working on currently, they are listening to exactly what we were asking for. Um, walking buddy to earn energy, more ways to earn through research tasks and other gameplay, and earning bonus candy when catching Pokemon that share a type with your Mega Evolved Pokemon. So they're going to be implementing a lot of ways to get Mega Energy, and I think that right there, if they do this properly, if they continue to listen to us, this could save mega pokemon the only thing they need to work out that i do not see addressed in this is the time limit i still don't think there should be a time limit i think it should be like even if it's just 20 energy 20 energy you evolve it you use it in a raid and it goes back after the raid is over i think that would be much more efficient than a time frame because then you don't have to worry about getting into a raid the second you evolve it or within that time frame of evolving it, I think that could be a big, big difference. Now, like I said, the purpose of this video, shiny Pokemon and mega evolved Pokemon. Now, I'm gonna open this up. I can't spin any of the stops or the gym because I don't need everybody knowing where I live, but I'm gonna show you guys what we are working with here. And there's the screen recording on. Currently in my living room with Drift, I can reach that gym and these five Pokestops, but if you see those two spun over there with no halos, those over there with no halos, the Drift in here is so insane. Are you guys ready for this? It is currently, what is it, Wednesday or Thursday today? Thursday, because we got it. Today's Thursday. On Thursday, 77.6 kilometers and I think I've left the condo twice. <laughs> I promise you, I haven't walked almost 80 kilometers. The drift in here is unbelievable. How many eggs have we hatched? 46, 46 eggs hatched. It's unbelievable. And I've been using my infinite incubator. Like, I cannot believe this. So I'm gonna open Pokemon and we're gonna go straight to the shinies to show you guys what we have gotten so far just running incense and these are all gotcha catches i have not gotten one of these on my own and i cannot wait to show you this so let's go pokemon and type in shiny so we started with shiny torchic it's no good none of these are any good but it doesn't matter so we started with shiny torchic then we got a shiny tangela got a shiny rosalia which was during uh eevee spotlight hour i thought that was hilarious after that 
that is our third shiny Caterpie. So in today's video, we're going to be getting shiny Metapod and Butterfree to complete that shiny family. We go plus to shiny Aerodactyl, and then while setting up to start this video, we got a shiny Ball Toy. So we are on six shinies just with the gotcha since we've been here, and that is unbelievable, and I cannot run out of items. I have too many items. That gem I'm in right now, we're almost gold on it, and we've been here for three days. Absolutely crazy. On the nearby right now, though, we sadly don't have any Mega Raids, and I've messaged around and nobody sees any right now. I'm hoping that that level three turns out to be a Marowak, because I'm still looking for shiny Alola Marowak, and since we're on top of this gem, we are doing Heatran raids again, so we're going to go ahead and do that in about 20 minutes. Ooh, Tauros? Gotcha, already got it, but nope, not shiny anyways. So even if it did run, that is not a big deal. So we are going to probably do these two Team Rocket stops here, because why not try to get a shiny Shadow Pokemon? We're going to do that raid. We're going to see if we can do any Megas. We do currently have, after... A few raids you can see here 250 mega charizard energy so we do have enough to complete mega charizard x and y in the decks we are going to be doing blastoise and venusaur raids now to try to get those completed and in the mega decks and then i think after that ooh, look at that one is going to pop at 641 and 702 awesome so we're going to have mega raids to do hopefully we'll, we'll get a venusaur or a blastoise but that is today's, ooh, so many shiny checks. You guys, I have, it, it doesn't stop here. This is absolutely insanity. No Lotad or Tangela, and did the gotcha pick that one up? No, it let it run. Still not a big deal. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely insane. So I'm gonna go help her finish making dinner and wait for all of these raids to pop. If you guys are excited for today's adventure and an absolutely amazing new adventure in another new city, smash that like button right now and subscribe if you're new here or haven't already. And like I said, get the notification bell clicked on. We're going to get to it and we will see you guys as soon as one of these raids comes. All right, y'all, wifey is trying to cook, so I came out on the balcony real quick. I apologize if it's a little loud out here, but uh, I just took down a Sierra, the first one I've seen in so long. Let's go ahead and see if we can get ourselves a shiny Shadow Lapras. It is the one I want the most. You guys know I love my purple shinies. So come on. I hate that you can't power through these anymore. You can't just quick tap them. Here we go. Let's go. Three, two, one. Womp. And 561. I don't think that's any good. I'm going to go catch this and we'll see you guys at the Heatran raid. All right, y'all. We took down a Heatran. We haven't gotten a shiny yet for the actual video. Can we get... Shiny Heatran, the last time we did a check together, we got one. Let's go three, two, one. Nope, and I didn't see the CB. 2086, wow, that is garbage, okay. So, I'm gonna go catch this, and then we're gonna look for Mega Raids and do a couple of Team Rocket stops, and we'll be back. <laughs> Check this out. I'm sorry it's very echoey in my hallway, but wait for it, turn the AR off, and we got a shiny Venusaur. 1879 weather boosted. I can't believe we actually managed to get ugh, hit it with a nice a shiny from one of the Mega Raids. That's absolutely awesome, and we know it's a guaranteed catch. Might as well hit it with the pineapple whether we need the candies for it or not. Down goes shiny weather boosted Venusaur, and it is absolutely garbage but that's okay because we got a shiny from one of the raids that's that's pretty amazing i didn't think it was actually going to happen and now we have 155 mega candies for that and we're going to hatch an egg okay let's hatch an egg let's see if we can get something spicy out of that anything good come on that's a mincino that's absolutely no didn't just no um so on the nearby we are waiting for we do not need any more charizard energy right now 
So we've got two more raids that are going to pop. We're going to go ahead and wait for those. Hopefully it'll be a Venusaur or a Blastoise and we can complete one more of the Mega Families and then wrap this video up. So cross your fingers and we'll be back. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Um, first of all, I'd like to say I think, I think for now, I have the lighting situation under control. Um, I got some LED light bulbs that the landlord here had hidden in the closet he told me about, so I know they're not the best LEDs. They're still kind of not as white as I want them to be, but I think, I think they'll take care of the lighting. I hope it did. So, we have a lot of evolutions to do, but we also have another shiny to go over. After we got that Venusaur, I got you another shiny. It's unbelievable. But big, huge shout out to Jesse and the rest of the Discord for helping me get these raids to finish this off because it took 24 hours from the end of the last clip to this one to do it, but we managed to pull it off. And now it's time to complete our shiny mega decks that we currently can. But before we do that, let's look at this right here. Rosalia, we got you another Rosalia. It sucks, but it's huge. And Shiny Roserade is a pretty shiny. Shiny Roselli is a pretty shiny. I'll take it. But what we need to look at first is not Krogunk, Caterpie. So we have three shiny Caterpie. No good, no good, and really no good. So I think the first one we ever caught is going to be our Butterfree. Let's just do it right now. I cannot believe we finally get to get this family done. The Metapod is is really cool. Wait for it. And there is the burnt orange, almost red Metapod. I love this shiny. It is one of my favorites, but Evolve, yes. Let's get our shiny Butterfree in Pokemon Go. Finally, I cannot believe we finally get to see this. Wait for it, wait for it. Do not orb me. And there it is the beautiful purple and pink shiny Butterfree in Pokemon Go. It's only 634 CP and I'm not gonna waste the dust or the candies to max it out right now, but we do need to make one of these. You know what, I'll leave the Atlanta one a Caterpie and we'll go ahead and evolve this one into the Metapod to make sure we have the complete family. And now, as soon as this is done, we have to do our Mega Evolutions because it will complete the current Mega Dex and I will say I was able to do it for decently cheap because I just did the raids as I could and didn't bother remote raiding them unless I wanted to. Not on anybody else's schedule but mine. So let's go just for fun plus cat and shiny. So there is our shiny Caterpie family completed. Now for the next ones, um, we have to do a Blastoise, a Venusaur, and another Charizard. So let's start with the same Charizard I used before. I want to say it's this one right here. So we can Mega Evolve it again for only 40 energy to the Charizard X, but we need Mega Charizard Y. So let's go ahead and get that registered to the Mega Dex. Oh, it's still such a pretty shiny. I don't, I don't, it's not my favorite, but it's, it's a very pretty shiny. So that goes into the Mega Dex. Man, 3658, what a beast. And I know this is a waste of energy, but like, that's not a big deal. So let's go Venusaur and we're going to do the most recent one. And let's go ahead and Mega Evolve. Yes, we're going to get shiny mega venusaur from the venusaur we got from last night's raid oh there it is and why because it's the best one and you can only re-evolve the one you already evolved for a discount so there is shiny mega venusaur oh my goodness the colors on mega venusaur and shiny mega venusaur are just amazing to me and last but not least we have one shiny blastoise this was from Versailles, France, before I even started my channel. And this was the one that was holding me up because I couldn't get the energy, but Mega Evolve, yes. And let's get 
our final Mega Dex entry to complete the current Mega Dex in Pokemon Go. Oh man, that Mega Blastoise is epic. You guys gotta give it. That Mega Blastoise is really cool. And there it is, the purple and green shelled Mega Blastoise. So if we go out here and type in Mega. Oh, is it only gonna show Blastoise? Well, where's... Oh no, I forgot, that's right. You can only have one at a time, so... Oops, oh well. At least it let me do the evolutions. So, we have those completed now, and where did it go? Give me Mega back, dang it. I can only have one, I wanna look at it. All right, so there we go, ladies and gentlemen. The Mega Dex for us is complete, so we go to Pokédex and Mega, and there it is. We have completed the current Mega Dex. I'm still not going to overdo it on these because I don't see a point in it still with the time frame and everything. I just wanted to get that Dex complete and I'm very happy with it. And let's just look over the shinies we have for today's video. Eight shinies. We started the very first day we got into the condo with a Torchic and then a Tangela and then a Rosalia and then a Caterpie, Aerodactyl, Ball Toy, the Venusaur from a Raid, and another Rosalia. Eight Shinies, the Mega Family Complete. I just, I can't believe it. It's been an amazing week, and I know I always tell you guys, I don't see Shinies as content, but this video was based on two things. The Shiny Megas and testing out my gotcha in the new condo with all of these stops and the insane drift. Speaking of the insane drift, are you guys ready to see how many kilometers I have from this insane drift? Let's click on my icon and scroll down. 129.9 kilometers. That is, that is insane. That is mind blowing. And I've walked a lot since we've been here. I have not walked this much, not even close. But I've also managed to pop off 66 eggs I mean, I can do four to five buddies a day without even leaving the condo. It's it's just utterly insane. But that is gonna wrap it up for our shinies and our megas for the day. Now, we need to go over the current news from Niantic. As we went over at the beginning of the video, they have announced that they're changing the mega system and working on a lot of implementations to make it easier to get energy. They also announced that when everything switches over on the 10th, they will be releasing another one coin bundle for three remote passes. So it seems that they're also hearing us about the fact that them giving us these free boxes daily with like a Pokeball and a potion aren't cutting it for all of the events that are very raid centric. I just, I just, I think this is a good start. I'm going to go ahead and say, let's believe in Niantic. Let's hope this is the start of something better. And I think it's a good way for them to move forward. The next thing they need to work on is the timing and how we use Megas in the current meta in Pokemon Go because the timer and also only being able to have one at a time, that can cause a little bit of issues too. Like a lot of people were thinking, oh, if I have a team of six Megas, we can do raid challenges, we can do solo challenges, we can do stuff in PvP. There's there's a lot that needs to be worked out to the system, but I think Niantic is working on it, and hopefully after the mass amount of outrage and, well, quite honestly, probably the very big profit loss they took over the last week in the first set of this announcements, they'll understand that the community is what drives them and our money is what gives them their money. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. The reason I made this video so short and at home is because one, we were just getting settled in, two, we had been driving for four and a half days, and three, we're actually getting ready to go on the road again. Um, her parents are going to be driving up and camping about two hours south of here. So we're gonna drive out and meet them tomorrow and that's gonna be the start of tomorrow's video and we're gonna start prepping for Cresselia to come, Articuno to come, look at these upcoming events and what we think about them. Currently for Mega Pidgeot, I'm not interested in participating unless, again, 
it's for me. The raids I do have nothing to do with Mega Pidgeot. I do not agree with a $2 million price tag, so that's going to wrap it up. If you guys did enjoy today's video, please make sure to smash that like button for me. It helps me more than you know. Make sure to subscribe if you're new here, if you haven't already, and punch on the notification bell when you do so you know when my videos go live. And let me know down in the comments, do you have your Mega Dex complete? Are you not bothering with Megas at all right now? Like you just feel it's a complete waste of money? How do you feel about the upcoming events? What shiny are you looking forward to the most coming up? I think, I really think Do Duo, as useless as it is, is very pretty shiny and I'm looking forward to getting that one. Let me know, are you gonna do Articuno? Are you gonna do Cresselia? Are you gonna do Zapdos? I don't need any Zapdos, but I need Articuno and Cresselia. So I'm gonna be going ham for those. And if you guys really, really enjoy all of this content and you wanna help me grow a little bit more, do some raids with me, enjoy a lot of this stuff in the background, hop in the Discord and check out the Patreon down below and I will catch you guys in the next one.